you're saying? I was saying that the United States is not willing to admit that Islamic fundamentalism and Islamic terrorism are one and the same thing. People seem here to be talking about Islamic terrorism. The, the Czech uh, premier is talking about uh, terrorism. But is it only in the manifestations of violence that, that, that the world must be concerned about uh, Islamism? No. Islamism, Islamic terrorism is not just the violence, it is the intolerance. And that intolerance uh, regards every person, it regards culture, and it, it, it breeds hatred. And it is hatred that leads to violence. So Islamic fundamentalism is not different from Islamic terrorism, because one begets the other. What effect is this having in Africa? Oh, devastating. In fact, when it started, when the madrasas were being built in Africa, we were told, Africans were told not to be worried because madrasas only taught the hatred of Jews. Well, today, 30 years later, there are more Africans being killed by Islamic terrorism, Islamic fundamentalism, than Jews. So the idea that the United States diplomats and European diplomats told us that Wahhabism was only teaching the hatred of Jews and we didn't have to worry, it's coming to haunt us now. Is that phenomenon uh, being replicated in Europe? The phenomenon of... Uh, phenomenon of uh, permitting madrasas? Oh yes, I mean in England today, uh, around London, you have at least 5,600 students attending madrasas sponsored by Saudi Arabia. And you'll find that most of the European children who are now going to join ISIS are children who were trained in madrasas in England that are officially accepted and admitted by the British government. Saudi Arabia is sponsoring those madrasas in and around London. And most of the children, the, the complaining of their children going, joining ISIS, their children trained and indoctrinated in the madrasas in England. For those who don't go, don't, what kind of a threat do you think they pose to the uh, British culture? Uh, first of all, the concept of Islamic fundamentalism is against everything that is fundamental to British society. Freedoms, freedom of expression, freedom of culture, freedom of thought. F Islamic fundamentalism is inimical to all of those things. And so the British should be ready with the ever-growing population of madrasa graduates in Britain the question of Islamic terrorism would tend to grow. The problem of Islamic fundamentalism and Islamic terrorism would tend to grow in England. How about the United States? Do you feel that this is an issue that we must uh, uh, address ourselves to? Well, the United States, at least its leaders, are unwilling or too cowardly to admit what is real. Islamic fundamentalism and Islamic terrorism are going to be one and the same thing because Islamic fundamentalism is the fastest growing religion in the United States. Muslims are the fastest growing group and Islamic fundamentalism is the fastest growing movement in the United States. So the problem is going to grow. It's not anybody coming from abroad, but actually the homegrown terrorism is a problem of the future of the United States.